The latest developments now at a major shakeup at the State House. As we first brought you as breaking news live at 5, Rhode Island's longtime Senate President Teresa Piva Weed announced that she's stepping down. Piva Weed will become president of the Hospital Association of Rhode Island tonight. We are looking into what's next for the future of the Rhode Island Senate. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin is live in our control room now with the latest. Well, Mike and Janet, after a long tenure in the state Senate, Teresa Piva-Weed will step into that new role with the Hospital Association in May. She made that announcement earlier today, but tonight focus is shifting. Many wondering who will fill her shoes. The State House stage is set. An open caucus Thursday will determine who now fills the role of Senate President. There is no replacing Senator Teresa Piva Weed. I've worked with her since she came up here, and we work together very well. Senate Majority Leader Dominic Ruggiero confirmed to us he's running for the position and believes he has enough votes to take the job Piva Weed will formally vacate on Thursday. They weren't my colleagues, they were my friends. And since then, they've been my family. Addressing a packed Senate lounge, she noted the changes her and her colleagues have made regarding education, social services, and the environment. So many accomplishments that were for the good of a lot of Rhode Islanders. Uh, I, it was just really a proud moment and certainly, you know, bittersweet. In a statement, Governor Gina Raimondo said Rhode Island is stronger and better because of the Senate president. Quote, Senate President Piva Weed has dedicated her adult life to public service. Throughout her career, she has led the way to protect the most vulnerable people in our state and has taken strong stances to improve and protect social services. She spent 25 years in the Senate, serving as president since she was elected in November of 2008. Piva Weed says she believes the Senate is now being left in good hands. And the greatest gift that I give to all of you is a staff of professionals that will continue to support the Senate and the state with the professionalism bar none. And Senator Ruggiero says that if he does become the Senate president, he'll choose Warwick Democrat Michael McCaffrey as the Senate Majority Leader. Again, that caucus is taking place tomorrow afternoon at the State House. It is open to the public. I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.